Hello everyone, I created a CRM project management in Google Sheets to manage my customer data and projects more efficiently. What I have included in this Google Sheet is the data collection in the dashboard. It includes a left menu such as clients, projects, tasks, leads, sales, and settings. In the top right menu, I have included pop-up forms that will record data to client table, leads table, and project table. Below top right menu is another menu such as clients, projects, tasks, leads, sales. By clicking on any button on the menu, it will redirect to the table where the data are recorded from the top right menu. Six mini boxes give the stats about the current number of records. There is the chart that gives the columns about the client numbers and the type of their company profile. Right corner, there are two donut charts. The first is giving the percentage of the projects completed the second is giving the percentage of the paid invoices from the clients, and there is the table status with the number of overall recorded tasks. First of all, we need to record new clients. There are two options to record new clients. Option one is through the dashboard top menu. The second option is on the left menu where it will redirect you to the client page, and there you have the buttons that will open the pop-up form to record the new client. In front, there is also the button that will redirect to the complete list of clients where you can delete or update the row if necessary. Let's record a new client. After we add new clients, we can continue with the projects or leads. Same as clients, we can record leads and projects through the dashboard or leads page and project page. Let's record a new lead from the main page. By clicking on the button, it will open the pop-up screen to record new leads. You will notice that the client that we have recorded previously will be listed in the client name. Let's fill out other details of the new lead. Recorded leads will be listed on the leads page. Same as the client page, you can record directly new leads from this tab. And other buttons include the complete data recorded for leads, which you can delete or update. The first part of the top right menu in the dashboard is a button to open the pop-up to record new projects. Projects can be recorded through the dashboard or even from the Project Page tab. On the Project Page, you have a top right menu to record new projects, same as in the dashboard. It has also a button to redirect to the total list of projects, where you can delete or update the project. Left corner there is an eye, and clicking it will open the page for tasks for related projects. Each project has its tasks that can be viewed by clicking on the checkbox and then clicking on the eye button. Let's record one project for this demo. By clicking on the button, you will notice the drop-down list that will pull the client list. It also has the project owner list of emails, which you can add to the settings tab. Let's record other details of the project. You will notice that the projects will appear in the list below. Every project has a progress bar that you can update. It also includes the overall projects bar, which is linked in the first donut charts. Every project has a checkbox in front of the project that will identify the project tasks related to that project. It is mandatory to click on the checkbox to give the list of tasks or record new tasks to related projects. If the checkbox is not checked, the script will not give you the possibility to record a new task. The top right button will open the pop-up screen to record new tasks. Every task is recorded with the TOTO process as a starting point.
At the dashboard page below the top menu, it is a button called Tasks. By clicking this button, it will open all the recorded tasks where you can manage to delete or update the task. You can also hide the table tasks, so it will not be confusing to view all the sheets. So now we have one client, one lead, one project with tasks, and all tasks are completed for the specific project. It is time to create an invoice. At the right menu list, you can find the icon for sales. By clicking on the button, it will open the sales sheet. There is a button to record client details for the specific project that you have completed. After we record the project with a specific client, there is a drop-down menu to identify the client. By selecting the client at the right table, it will give all the projects to the relevant client. By clicking on the checkbox at the right table, it will give all the tasks for that project that we have invoiced to the client. There is also the total amount and the button to add a new completed task of the project. Above is also the button that will pull the details to the invoice tab ready for print or to generate in PDF format. In this sheet, the only part that should be changed is my company details. When a client pays the invoice, we need to update the details of the record. If we return to the Dashboard tab, the last top button is Sales. By clicking the button, it will give all the products or services that we have included in the invoice. Here you can delete or update the status from the drop-down list in Column Payments. This will automatically change the status of the invoice. It automatically generates three types of invoice status, Paid, Partly Paid, and Unpaid. At the dashboard, there are also the boxes to identify the total sales invoices and the total income generated. I hope you liked the video, and if you have any advice or suggestions, please let me know in the comments.